Hey everyone, Matt here with Night Run Studio. So, we've got a tile map in our game, and it's awesome, except that it's not really awesome. We've got some layering issues. So in this video, we're gonna look at how to set things up so that our player can overlap objects by walking in front of them or behind them in a more believable way. Let's get started. I should note that Unity also has a built-in automated sorting feature, which can be useful in some cases. However, I find that it's a little bit finicky and I don't quite get as much control as I like with it. I'll leave some links in the description if you're interested, but otherwise we're gonna use a multi-tile map system instead. Let's begin by looking at my current setup. I currently have three layers, ground, decorations, and a collision layer. The ground is set to order in layer negative one, so it's below my player, who I've got on layer five at the moment. I've got a decoration layer for objects I want to look at but not necessarily collide with. I put it on layer zero, so it's below the player. And finally, my collision layer, which has my tile map collider, so I bounce into it. This includes the trunks of trees as well as my mountains, and I've set it to layer 10. What we're going to do in this video is create four distinct layers. We'll have a collision low, which collides with the player but renders lower than him. We'll have a collision high for things like mountains, which render above the player but we collide with them. We'll have non-collision high, so that things can overlap the player and we can run around behind them, like the tops of trees or this mountain. And finally, we'll also have a non-collision low, which will be for things like this road, which will always render below the player. So let's start off with our collision layers. I'm gonna take our current collision layer and retitle it collision high, as it's already rendering above the player at level 10. We'll then create a new tile map, rectangular. We'll call this one collision low, and then we'll put it on layer zero. Now that we have our layers, we're ready to do a little work. So I'll go to the collision high layer, grab my eraser, and just get rid of the bottom layer of all my mountains. Then we can switch our layer to collision low and add back in those layers, though now they'll render below the player. Next, while we're still on the collision low layer, we'll grab a tree trunk and we'll just replace all of our current tree trunks with collision low ones. That way the player will bump into them, but render above them. I'll also make sure to click on the collision low object and just make sure that I've actually added a tile map collider 2D so that it actually does have collisions. Already we can test our game and our player will now render in front of these mountains but still collide with them. And the same thing will happen in the trees. He can go in front, bump into them, but it looks like he's overlapping them a little. We just have to work on these top trees here which are not rendering right just yet. Now we'll do something very similar with this decorations layer. First of all, I'm just going to rename it. This is going to become non-collision low. And then I'm also just going to create one more tile map, and this will be our non-collision high. I'll go to my tile palette here, make sure I've selected non-collision low, and right now I'm just going to erase the tops of all my trees, as we don't want those to render below the player. We want the player to be able to walk behind the trees. Now we can go ahead and select our non-collision high, grab these tops of the trees, and just paste them back on. And our player will be able to walk behind them. Though for that to happen, we will just have to make sure that we're on the non-collision high and that we set our order in layer to something like 10. The trees are now working nicely where we can run behind them, but we can also walk around in front of them if we want. Last step is just to set up our mountains. We can run in front of them, but I don't like the way that we seem to walk on top of them and there's no room for us to move behind them. So in our tile palette, we'll grab collision high as our layer and make sure to erase this top layer here for all of the mountains. Now we can go to our non-collision high grab those tops of the mountains and paint them back in so that they render on top of our player, but he can still move behind them without colliding. We'll run a quick test and now things are working nicely. You can use this same method to get things like houses and other objects to render nicely. Hope you found this one helpful. We'll have more tile map tips coming up in a future tutorial. Till then, this is Matt with Night Run Studio. Cheers.